All right, we're here at Berlin City Toyota of Portland taking a look at the 2017 <clears throat> Toyota RAV4. This has been a very successful vehicle for Toyota. Uh, they redesigned it in 2013 was the first year and with it came a lot of cosmetic changes but two really big mechanical changes that I don't know if people talk about much or make it simple to understand. It, in 2012 it was a four speed now it's a six speed and the all-wheel drive system is magnetic making it uh, just without getting into to detail much better uh, or not as hard on tires and front end components like tie rods and ball joints etc anyway this is the XLE trim level kind of uh, the in the middle of the three or four available the XLE gives you the fog lamps, 17 inch aluminum alloy wheels, blinkers on the exterior mirrors, power moonroof, and there's uh, obviously some options available as well. This particular one we're looking at has a power lift gate, which is not standard, but it's an option on the XLE trim level so that can be operated like you just saw me do or from uh, in the driver's seat and you can set this height so if you're shorter you can have it stop not so all the way up I guess another quick walk around the exterior great for New England this perimeter it goes all the way around keeps up uh, debris from the roads from chipping the paint or rust etc let's take a quick look at the uh, interior and some of the features that are available our windows power door locks all standard this is a manual seat they did a really great job with this too the shape of the seat these uh, bolsters very comfortable pretty sporty as well uh, you can ratchet the seat up and down based on where you feel best. The steering wheel is telescoping. They're new, they're stiff, but up, goes up and down, in and out. On the left hand side of the steering wheel, you get your power mirrors. This is your dimmer switch for the cluster where your speedometer is. You can, this is an all wheel drive vehicle. You do have the ability to lock it in to, uh, I guess I'd call it 50-50 distribution might not be quite that but it's for very low speeds almost like a four low in a truck here's where you can operate the power lift gate tack and your speedometer we have an information center right now it's telling us on top uh, that we're in park 70 degrees outside so where you can see your averages and you can reset them so by going down this on the steering wheel this is the right hand side controls your information center where the left is your Bluetooth for your hands-free phone and also your radio controls so I'm back up here right now I'm going down so right now it's telling us, it's predicting 42 miles till empty. This is an eco indicator, meaning when you're driving, you just put it in drive. If you drive, it's kind of a game. You have to, to keep it inside this. The goal is to keep the bar that rises. Let's do it so you can see it. Keep it inside there. That just means that you're saving fuel where you're being conservative. As we drove, here's a backup camera. And this is interesting, which is new. This shows you how much power is going to each wheel on the all-wheel drive system. 
know, if you were stuck or maybe in a situation, trying to think of something where you would really use this. It'll show you how much power is going to each wheel, front and rear. Interesting. Can't really demonstrate it without slippage, so. And that's just nothing. So if I go to the side with this, to the right or left, you notice the bar on top. I is the information. Music, so it's telling us what, uh, what station we're on. This would be a message center. If there was maybe, uh, maybe you need an oil change, it would, this is where you'd be notified. You can change some uh, settings here if you want, like the lift gate, for instance. You can set up uh, maintenance so you kind of remind yourself. And back to the beginning page. All right, moving over. This is the radio, this is the touch screen. I have it on the. There's a lot of presets here, 36 of them. And what I like is you can blend oops, FM and AM together. So there's some FM stations, and you can blend it in. You can do whatever you want. You can make this a split screen as well if I go to the home button right now. If there were a phone connected, it would reflect here and show the radio there. The XLE offers navigation as an option. This particular one I'm in does not offer it, but the head unit right here would look visually the same. When I hit the apps button, there would be the option for navigation, which I would just touch there. Uh, since we're here, you have your the audio, your phone. If there was a phone connected, this would be text messages. You can receive them, you cannot send them. Um, the vehicle can read them out loud to you. Your eco mode, you can see this is where you can see your past driving and average speed, timer, your range, and how you're doing on fuel. You can look at past records. This is a brand new vehicle, it hasn't left the lot. I'm just going to clear that out. Just like a computer, the back arrow will bring you back. Setup has all kinds of options here. You can add phones, take them out, change the display, color, etc. Uh, HD radio, I'm in the state of Maine, so we don't have, um, I guess, the HD signal on our antennas yet. I don't know why that is, so the option exists at no cost, but for people in Maine and maybe even New Hampshire, it does not work right now. I hear that sometimes it works. Um, so moving on. The XLE, again, that we're in, dual climate control. You can have a 40 degree difference between the vents here in the front, driver and front passenger. Try to keep everybody happy. <clears throat> and air conditioning, of course. Now down below, center stack there. Got two driving modes, an eco mode and a sport mode. Uh, just for different driving situations. The sport mode will put a little bit more power to the back wheels with the all-wheel drive system. <clears throat> USB port auxiliary, and a traditional 12 volt 120. Any modern day device can be charged. Did a really good uh, design with the layout. Again, automatic transmission. This is a, this is a six speed now. And when it's in drive, you have the option to while driving, even on the turnpike at 60, you can slap this right over and it goes into S, it's saying four. So I can just slap it back and forth. So I can just up shift and down shift, one through six. Basically that, you know, um, automatic transmissions probably generally default shift around 3000 RPMs. That allows you to get as much as you want out of each gear. You can redline every gear if you wanted to other situations to use that in, no doubt. Power moonroof in the XLE is standard, not an option. You can open it with one touch and it vents as well. Just for maybe a rainy day, just let in a little bit of air. Let's look at the back seat and uh, storage in the trunk compartment. A lot of room in the back seat of these. And I like this, it's really simple. No more pulling it out, just flip that down, let this down. Again, they're stiff when they're new, 
and it falls down flush. Very simple, no need to pull the headrest out. This is your backup camera lens is located right here. And a ton of cargo space with a nice opening and a low load level right here. This is a tonneau cover that can be removed and there's storage for it below here. Don't need to throw it in the garage. And your spare tire, which we all know that's where those that are familiar with the RAV4 used to be located on the back of the vehicle. But I just want to do this real quick. Take this up. There's just so much room in the RAV4. You could sleep in it if you wanted to or had to. Still amazes me a bit. So much room, and it's almost completely flush. Just a massive amount of space for this segment vehicle. So, pretty long video, so I'm gonna wrap it up. But 2017 Toyota Rav4. This is the XLE trim level here at Berlin City, Toyota of Portland.